let us see the important casting terms. One is flask, second one pattern, third one parting line, fourth one molding sand, fifth one facing sand, sixth one core, seventh pouring basin, eight sprue, nine runner, ten gate, eleven chocolates, twelve razor. And the first one is the flask. It is a box made up of metal or wood. As I already told in the beginning, the principle of metal casting is we will create a cavity in a com uh, compacted sand medium or any molding medium and the cavity cavity's shape will be similar to that of the component which we will be manufacturing. So, this compacted sand medium will be made within this flask and we use two or three flasks and the lower flask we call it as drag and the upper flask we call it as cope and in some cases we also use third one. So, that third one we use in the middle that we will call it as the intermediate. Uh, so, here we can see this is a sand mold and here we can see outside there, a, there is this is the cope and this is the drag. Here we can see two molding flasks. So, this is the cope and this is the drag and inside these boxes the sand. So, this compacted sand medium will be made within this flask and we use two or three flasks and the lower flask we call it as drag and the upper flask we call it as cope and in some cases we also use third one. So, that third one we use in the middle that we will call it as the intermediate uh, molding flask or the cheek. So, here we can see this is a sand mold and here we can see outside there, a, there is this is the cope and this is the drag. Here we can see two molding flasks. So, this is the cope and this is the drag and inside these boxes the sand is compacted and the mold is made. And next one is the pattern. So, pattern is the replica of the final object or the final component which we are going to manufacture. As I already told the principle is first we have to create a hollow cavity within a sand medium compacted sand medium. So, to create that hollow cavity we need a model that model may be made up of wood or metal or wax or sometimes plaster. So, this model is known as pattern. Next one parting line. This is the dividing line between two molding flasks. Here we can see this is the sand mold in which sand is compacted and this is the upper molding box that is the cope and this is the lower molding box that is the drag and this is the line separating upper molding box and the lower molding box. So, this is this line which separates these two molding boxes is known as the parting line. Next one molding sand. Yes, we prepare a hollow cavity in a compacted sand medium in most of the cases and for that we need sand and this sand 
binds strongly without losing its permeability means when we compact the sand still it should be in a position to pass the hot gases through it and it is a mixture of silica sand clay moisture in appropriate proportions these proportions we will see later so this is a mold and this is the molding sand the whole thing this is the molding sand next one facing sand so after we make the mold the inner surface of the cavity may not be smooth and to give a better surface finish to the inner surface of the cavity we sprinkle small amount of carbonaceous material uh, sand carbonaceous sand which will be uh, fine and it will be sprinkled with that we will get a better surface finish on the cavity surface next one core this core comes into picture whenever we have to make components with some hollow cavity so whenever components are to be made with cavities or some recess we have to use a core this core is also again made up of sand and it will be baked to uh, induce more strength yes this is the sand mold again this is the cavity hollow cavity and here we wanted a cavity so we have kept a core here and this is the uh, way this is the pouring basin we pour the molten metal here and the molten metal will be passing and this is the cavity of the component so the molten metal will be occupying around the uh, around this uh, core and after solidification we remove this core so that there will be a cavity here and pouring basin this is the small funnel shaped cavity at the top of the mold through which we pour the molten metal so this is the pouring basin and this is this mold and we through this basin we pour the molten metal the molten metal will be falling and this is the choke and it will be passing this way and it will be entering into the cavity and it will be raising up to here next one sprue it is the passage through which the molten metal from the pouring basin reaches the mold cavity so this is the sprue this is the pouring basin this is the sprue the vertical passage that is this sprue the molten metal will be passing from the pouring basin through this sprue it reaches this choke area then it will pass through the runner then it will fall into the cavity and this is another casting of course this is uh, uh, shown without molding boxes so this is the uh, pouring cup this is the sprue so this is the runner the initially the molten metal will be poured in the pouring cup then it will be passing through the sprue and it will be reaching the choke and finally it will be reaching the runner and finally it will be reaching the casting and next term the runner it is the channel through which the molten metal is carried from the sprue to the gate so this is the runner so this is the choke this is the sprue this is the runner molten metal passes from the pouring cup sprue this is the choke and it reaches the runner and finally it reaches the mold cavity gate it is the channel through which the molten metal enters into the mold cavity so this is the gate through this gate molten metal passes into the cavity chaplets 
Chaplets are used to support cores inside the mold cavity to take care of its own weight and to overcome the metallostatic force. So here we can see this is the mold and this is a core and this is the chaplet. This is one chaplet and again this is another mold and here is a core and here is one chaplet we can see here is one chaplet here is an, of course another chaplet another chaplet so these chaplets they support the core when the core has to be suspended inside the cavity and these cores are made up of the same material of the casting when we pour the molten metal the cores will be fusing and they will become part of the casting Riser, this is another important term. Riser, we can see it is at the top of the casting. This is also known as feed head. So, this is the riser. The po mo molten metal passes through the pouring cup, through the runner, through the gate, it enters into the mold cavity. Finally, it raises. So, this razor has got three functions. One is, it gives us an indication that the cavity is full with the molten metal. And when the molten metal is poured into the mold, hot gases are generated because the molding medium contains moisture. When the molten metal comes in contact with the moisture, hot gases are formed, vapor and hot gases. This vapor and hot gases will escape through the riser. So that is the second function of the riser. And there is another important function for the riser. When the molten metal is full with the mold, uh, in the cavity, after some time, the solidification starts. During the solidification, the size of the casting becomes smaller, means it undergoes shrinkage. So, we have to counteract, counteract this effect. So, molten metal is kept in liquid state in razor by some method. The casting undergoes solidification, but the molten metal in the riser will be acting as the reservoir. It compensates the shrinkage which is undergoing by the casting. So, this is the important function of the riser. It counteracts the shrinkage effect of the casting. And vent, of course, as I already told, Riser helps us so that the hot gases and vapor will be escaping from the mold. But to ensure more that the hot gases will be escaping from the mold, we create vent holes. So these vent holes we create in the mold at certain places. These vents are holes of very small diameter. They will be extending from the surface of the uh, mold cavity onto the end of the mold box. So, the hot gases also pass through these vent holes. 